uh, in the book of Acts chapter 9. Uh, it's that great famous encounter where Paul has his Damascus Road experience uh, and on his way he's going to go and arrest the followers of the way, the Christians, and he's arrested by the Lord Jesus Christ. And through that encounter, um, Paul, who was Saul at the time, uh, is temporarily led into Damascus. Uh, and there a man called Ananias has a vision from God who he asks him to go and pray a prayer of blessing on Saul to restore his sight and fill him with the Holy Spirit. And, uh, you know, it's a great sort of moment of anxiety in uh, Ananias's response. You know, here is not only a stranger that he is being asked to encounter, but an enemy, someone who is actively hunting down people like him. But God, God encourages him through his fear into the way of love. Let me say that again. God encourages him through his fear into the way of love. And it's clear that through Ananias's prayer that it has a profound and significant impact because God uses him to heal Saul and the scales fall from his eyes. He has an amazing uh, encounter um, that we see in Paul's writings that he reflects upon. And uh, one of those things is when you go to uh, the book of Timothy, and particularly 1 Timothy uh, 13 and 14, and he says, even though I was once a blasphemer, a, a prosecutor, and persecutor, and a violent man, I was shown mercy because I had acted in ignorance and unbelief. But the grace of our Lord was poured out on me abundantly, along with faith and love that is in Christ, Christ Jesus. And it's clear from Paul's encounter that he, you know, when he reflects back that the compassion, grace and mercy of love um, are almost like a, a massive river that just pours over him. And it's something that he uh, looks back to but sees as a constant in his life. Um, in fact, you go to uh, Philippians 3 and he uh, talking about um, and I think reflecting on his experience as well uh, is encouraging the Philippians. And in Philippians 3, 12, he says, uh, not that I have already obtained all of this, even though I have this river of God flowing through me. I haven't obtained, I've not arrived. You know, I haven't already been made perfect. But I press on and take hold of that which Christ took hold of me. Uh, and that word take hold of in the Greek is uh, literally means to be arrested. Uh, you know, I, I take hold, I arrest, I, I, I hold, hold captive that which Christ took hold of me. And Paul's experience started, wasn't it, with someone pushing through their fear into the way of love. The Ananias making that choice to befriend and to be compassionate. And so I want to uh, just share some, a prayer really, a prayer that we can pray over ourselves. That like Ananias, we can allow the love of God to take hold of us. And maybe we can use this prayer as well that someone has written to pray it over another person today. But it's just three simple lines, and it's this. May the love of God take hold of me. May the light of Christ shine in my heart. May the love of Christ flow through me like a mighty river and so i'm gonna pray that and um you can join with me and we can use those words to uh, add someone else's name at the end so we can always think throughout the day may the love of christ take hold of um janet may the life of christ take hold of shine in bob's heart may the love of christ flow into George like a river. And so we can use this prayer time and time again, but let's uh, just quieten ourselves, take a deep breath. To allow ourselves to slow down today. Pause in the moment.
Allow our hearts to be stilled in God's presence. We thank you, God, that you're here with us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, you're working in our lives and in our hearts. Bless you that the way is open because of Jesus. Thank you that we can be renewed by faith in your presence, cleansed of our conscience, of our sin, acceptable in the sight of the Father. Let's pray this prayer. May the love of Christ take hold of me. May the light of Christ shine in my heart. May the love of Christ flow through me like a river. May the love of Christ take hold of me. May the light of Christ shine in my heart. May the love of Christ flow through me like a river. Pray today that God's blessing would surround you, uphold you and bring you life in its fullness in Christ and in abundance in the small things and in significant ways as well. Be blessed. Amen.